Hi, I'm Will Power. I play guitar for Bad Nerves, and we're on tour with Royal Blood. And uh, I'm going to show you some of my gear. Oh yeah, and we've got a uh, new single out, USA, which uh, is on all streaming platforms. Yeah, and I'll show you the gear. Got my trusty Telecaster here, which I um, I actually swapped out. I used to have a Jaguar, um, and I swapped it out for this because I didn't get on with it. And it's a uh, it's a Mexican 2005 model. Um, and I love it. We've, I've had it. <coughs> I've had it done up a bit. I've got a uh, an American bridge on it that I got um, set up recently, and it's just way better than it was. We always have tone rolled up completely, volume up obviously, and uh, yeah, we use the um, bridge pickup all the time just to keep everything simple. We don't do any. We don't do any fancy stuff. So yeah, we just keep it. We keep it like that. We use Rode Sound 10s and um, they hooked us up with loads of free uh, strings, so big up Rode Sound. Tune in, what's standard tune in basically, yeah. We don't really, as I say, with the pickups, the tone, the tuning, we keep as simple as possible. We're, we're, a power, we're like a power chord based band, so we like to just keep everything as simple as possible. I've just got a cheap Ernie Ball strap, which I got off Amazon Prime. and. Um, We've got some strap locks here that um, George talked about earlier. They're pretty cool actually. I actually super glue them in because the first time I used them, I didn't at a Reading Festival. I had like multiple problems that day. And one of the other, one of the problems was this back thing, this back bit just fucking fell off completely. Like it all just came out. Um, so from then on, I just super glued the whole thing together. I super glued this whole thing in as well. And um, it hasn't budged since, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's had multiple drops, as you can see here. Um, as it's a, a Mexican model, it's not, not as good as an American, so it's, um, you can see it looks a bit cheap, actually, underneath all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I love it. It's my trusty guitar that I wouldn't change for the world. I used to use these ones, like these uh, Jim Dunlop 88s, which are, I've used forever. Um, which were pretty cool, but then I discovered these Jim Dunlop uh, Max Grips, and they're um, actually, yeah, they're just a bit grippier, less drops, um, and I only got them because um, they, the other ones weren't available, and I've just stuck with them ever since. And um, our drummer actually runs a guitar shop near me, and he stocks these, and when he's not looking, I just grab a handful, so I'm always stocked up with them. Cheers, Sam. So I've just, yeah, tuner-wise, I use this Korg, Korg Pitch Black. I should really update it. I bought this in like 2012, and it's starting to um, starting to stick a bit, so I have to constantly um, clean it, put lube on it. I actually had to do it on this tour, actually, because it, it was um, not switching properly, but yeah, next on the list is a new tuner. Anyway, so uh, we go on to next in the chain is my uh, Maxon OD808 Overdrive. I used to use this Ibanez uh, Tube Screamer. Um, that ended up breaking, so, and um, the guy that produced our album used this, advised this, and yeah, I wouldn't change that for anything else, to be honest. Next pedal is the MXR Distortion 3. Now, I didn't particularly um, I didn't choose this intentionally. I was uh, my other pedal broke. Can't even remember what I was using uh, before that. But we were in Amsterdam. Went to the guitar store and tried this out, and it sounded pretty cool. I just use this for like um, my my lead parts, basically, just a boost, just overdrive boost. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I like it. Um, next along is the Big Muff Pi. Electro harmonics, which is just a fuzz pedal. I use this for um, bass. I basically use this once in the set for the um, new single USA. It's got like this um, rolled off tone, heavy fuzz um, lead line. And um, because it's quite new in the set, I haven't actually bought this. This is, uh, <laughs> I borrowed this off my mate um, for this tour. So I'll, hopefully I'll be returning it, and if he forgets, and no, I might just keep it. Awesome. I won't really. Thank you, Tuck. Um, and 
next along in the line. Oh yeah, also I use this, actually I've started using this a bit more for like just noise in between songs. It's pretty cool. It's just, as soon as you hit it, it's just so fucking noisy. Um, and yeah, that's cool. And this I've had for so many years. I bought this. I bought this off a guy that worked in a guitar shop who I got to know pretty well and it was his personal pedal so he sold it to me quite cheap um, and this delay is wicked like I haven't really come across anything that I prefer so I've always used this uh, I don't it's got a tap tempo on it if you want you can just um, you know just the classic you can just time your delay when you're playing along uh, with the tap tempo I don't do that <clears throat> I just um, have it really tight so it's really fluttery um, uh, the repeat and the echo just kind of uh, generous I have it quite loud um, and yeah that gives like a really good when I'm doing my lead stuff and it is a little bit of a dance I always have to hit the hit the distortion and the delay on um, but it sounds great it's got it's, it gives like a, yeah, just like a good slap delay basically. That's all I use it for. Um, I did used to do the tap tempo, but I sacked that off because it's too much of a pain in the arse. Next in the chain is my Julia uh, Warris Audio. And I, George got me onto these. He, use, he uses it for like a lot of in-between noise, which I've started to do as well. I use this in Radio Punk. It's got a good uh, chorus vibrato and um, yeah, so I use that for that, and uh, just general noise. Um, and that, yeah, that's my whole chain. And then, usually I use a Voodoo uh, Pedal Power 2, um, which is cool, because it, as you can see, it's all, well, it doesn't look neat at the moment. I'll explain that in a second. It's all like zippy tied in, and it's um, all screwed into the um, pedal train. And, that's, and then you've got your power there, so it's, it's really really neat. Um, and I, yeah. And then we got on this tour, and then realised the American power didn't like it, and um, there was just tons of buzz. So we ended up going out to a guitar store and getting hold of whatever we could, which was this acoustic power bank, PB ISO eight, and um, it's cool. It seems to work fine. Um, but yeah, and that means I've, um, and because there's no room on the pedal board, I have to whack it behind it and shove all these extra leads through. And I've still got all my old ones zippy tied in, so it's a bit of a noodle fest on stage at the moment. Yeah, so I use a um, combination of either high watt or Fender amps. Um, high watt usually in the UK, um, they supply us with a couple of amps, which is cool of them. And then we use. Um, Fender DeVille's as well, and we record with Fender DeVille's. 410 uh, DeVille that I use, um, I got when I started the band actually, and it essentially shaped the sound. And I um, I recently took it on tour and it kept breaking, so um, I feel like it's quite fragile, so we've stopped using that live. I'm using the high watt a lot more now, um, and that's cool. In America we're using, uh, we've hired some DeVille's, um, and yeah, we just, as I say, it's really simple. We just run it through the crunch channel. Um, don't really do any, put anything fancy on it. No, no reverb. Just have it set to, yeah, we, I think we have the gain set to two. And so the overdrive set to two and the volume set to two. And the, um, George uses a little bit more treble for some reason. I have to roll it off a bit. Um, it was just a little bit too bright so I treble rolled down a bit um, mids around the middle and then crank the bass a bit and that's kind of I mean it varies from amp to amp but on this tour that's my settings yeah so we've got a new single out USA which is going to be on the new album that we're currently recording um, between touring um, I can't tell you when the album's going to be up, it should hopefully be soon. You can check all, uh, we're on all social media. Our website is www.badnerves.co.uk. This is...